I'll start with this. People keep saying that mobile is more personal. Does that, what does that really mean, mobile's more personal? And what should content creators be doing to take advantage of this more personal medium? Let any one of you jump in on that one. Well, I guess I'll jump, I'll jump in. Uh, I think um, in terms of mobile, um, you know, if you look at the history of, of just the mobile phone market, uh, back in the cellular days when phones were thousand dollars and a, you know a dollar fifty a minute, <clears throat> you know the majority of people who had them were were business executives who were relatively high level folks and needed to be in communication with people. And, and if you look at the evolution of that, um, the wireless industry and your cell phone, for many people, is now a necessity. And so, and we've all seen that. That's not a surprise to anybody in the room. But as part of that growth. What, what's happened is that necessity has become very personal now. And so your mobile number is very personal. You don't hand that out to anybody. Um, you know, your text messages are very personal. Your Twitter updates are, to a certain degree, personal to the folks following you. Um, and so as a result of that, um, the wireless phone tends to be a very, very, you know, very personal device. And, and for many, and I've done this because I was the head of multicultural marketing at Verizon for so long, uh, for many sub-segments of the population, like African Americans and Hispanics, um, it's, it's, it's even a deeper level of personal. Um, because in many cases, for, for, for those specific segment groups, um, it even, it, it's, it's an aspirational product, you know, uh, for, for those. You know, when, when I was at Verizon and we were marketing wireless phones to, to the Hispanic community, um, <clears throat> one of the things that we quickly realized is Hispanics have a higher uh, propensity um, to upgrade their handsets to the newer devices, um, and, and they also had a higher propensity to download content, higher higher propensity to use data services in general, like text messaging, etc. And and that has to do with the fact that it is very personal device, and it has to do with the fact that um, in many cases it was a very aspirational product for for that segment group, right? And what I mean by that is is you know, the majority of Hispanic Americans in, in the United States probably can't go out and buy a Porsche right now, but they can go buy the new, the new app iPhone. And, and to them, it's, 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 it's aspirational. I have the latest device, and, 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 I can, uh, and I'm willing to spend the money on it. And so uh, we noticed that at Verizon when I was there. And, and, and that's the reason it's all, but a lot of that leads to your question is, it's a very, very personal product. That's why you're not seeing penetration levels decline in a, in a bad economy, um, you know, they're not going to grow at the pace that they were, but you, I mean, if you look at where we've gone in 15 years from 16% to 75%, that's phenomenal growth. I mean, when, when we were in the heart of the growth at, at Verizon and AirTouch, we couldn't run bad marketing campaigns. We just couldn't. I mean, it, 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 we just sold phones. I mean, we tried to run bad campaigns. It's, it's, they still worked. You needed some help and from so, organic on that. And fact. so the reality is, is you're not going to stop that level of growth. That's significant growth. Um, and so the reality is, is it is a personal device, and it's, and it's because it's become a necessity. And, and you look at most teenagers now, it's, it's like a lifeline. It's like, what do you mean you're taking my phone away? I, 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 what are you doing? Um, so it's a, you know, and that's my perspective. So. Um, 